Good evening, Tom Scobanner, 155 Rural Drive. I was asked, uh, the letter was received from the Greater Cincinnati Native American Coalition late this afternoon, early this evening, and I was asked to make this a part of the record. I believe you have it electronically, and I did make one tiny uh, change for clarification. But this is a letter from Jerry Neri, the Executive Director of the Great America, Greater Cincinnati Native American Coalition, to whom it may concern. The desecration of indigenous and Native American religious, spiritual, and burial mounts is an egregious part of Ohio's history and is part of the ongoing 500 years of genocidal policies to erase our history and perpetuate the false narrative of the pristine myth, which refers to America's founding mythology of settling a pristine wilderness, providing a convenient justification for the occupation of the North American continent. The Greater Cincinnati Native American Coalition encourages the city of Loveland and its leadership to commission a new survey based upon the recommendation of that cited, excuse me, that cited the evidence of a Native American mound in 1849 on the site of the Parchment Rock. We are in contact with other national Native organizations and are sending a summary of how Loveland proceeds with this matter to the National Congress of the American Indians in Washington, D.C. We are hopeful that the city of Loveland and those elected officials will do the right thing and work towards protecting not just the religious rights of mainstream Ohio, but of all people in Ohio. Regards, Jerry Neri, Executive Director, Greater Cincinnati Native American Coalition.